There are so many layers to this when we talk about COVID-19 and with all the stress that people are under during this pandemic, there is a con another condition that's on the rise. It grabbed our attention. It's called broken heart syndrome and the symptoms mimic, mimic a heart attack. And the Cleveland Clinic says the number of cases reported has doubled compared to before the pandemic began. Rick Watkins spent eight days in the hospital for in a medically induced coma due to broken heart syndrome. And he's with us now. Rick, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? You know, you, you hear about that sometimes when you say, oh, someone died of a broken heart or they're you know, legitimately sick because of a broken heart. But now we have the research to back it up. How are you feeling today, first and foremost? I feel fine. I feel really, really uh, blessed to be here, but I feel great. Hospital's doing a good job in my rehab. Uh, let's take a look back here. So you were in the hospital for about eight days. Four of those I know you were in an induced coma. What did you think when they first told you that you suffered from broken heart syndrome, which can be brought on by extreme stress? What did you think about that diagnosis? Um, to be truthful, I I said, well, I'm, I'm too manly for something like broken heart syndrome. Um, it, I'd never heard of it, to be honest. I heard of it in retrospect, I guess, to Debbie Reynolds. But uh, I was shocked that uh, stress had been able to do that to me because I'm, I felt I was good at internalizing things. Didn't turn out to be the case. Yeah, I think a lot of us can relate to that. Now, originally, they said it was a heart attack. What made them realize that it wasn't? They actually, you know, when you're first in there, they, they take film and they looked at my uh, arteries and veins, which were clear. And I guess a heart attack technically is, you know, your heart's not getting blood. But in this case, it was a cardiac arrest due to the, the function of the stress. So let's go back to March. I know a lot was certainly going on in our country, but for you personally, of course, the pandemic began. Uh, you had to furlough people at work. Your grandson, I, as I understand it, was in the hospital for a separate illness. And then your father uh, also suffered an injury that same month. How were you managing all of the, that stress at the time? I know you said you were internalizing it. I think it's an important question to ask because so many people watching this morning are just juggling so many things. Um, how was it for you? I mean, you're right. Uh, you you tend, at least a lot of people like myself, tend to not, you know, reach out and talk to other people. So you know, my grandson being sick and you can't go visit him, uh, you can't help the family that's left behind, uh, Brian, his father and Sarah and his mother. So it's like we can't even help these people. We can't take them and visit. We can't go see the grandson. And so then as other things start to pile up. It's just like, what's next? You know, what else do I have to deal with? And it just becomes overwhelming at times and obviously became overwhelming for my heart. So it's just difficult and you have to recognize that it's happening to you. And the whole COVID is like this wet blanket that lays on top of us that we constantly have to deal with and struggle under. And it's a level of pressure I don't think a lot of people realize is there. That's a good way to put it. I've never heard anybody express it that way. Um, I was reading your story, uh, preparing to talk to you this morning, and I know that your father uh, passed away, unfortunately. So we're so sorry uh, for your loss there. And I know you fell sick the day of his funeral. What happened? Well, um, we were preparing for the funeral. What was going to be a funeral of, you know, staged entrances and exits of 10 people because of COVID. And I was concerned how my sons were going to handle it because they had gotten real close to my father over the last couple of years. Um, and it, I came out for breakfast in the morning and I was disoriented, wasn't acting correctly. And my wife looked at me and kind of said, you know, what's going on? And I said, well, I don't feel good. And I've over the years had uh, a condition called GERD, which is acid reflux, and it can sometimes cause a severe pain in the center of your back. So I kind of said, I think I'm having an acid reflux attack, which seemed odd for the timing, but whatever. And But then I had some ringing in my ears and my arms started to go numb. And uh, I guess I just uh, sat back in the chair and that was it, I was out. 
Well, the, the bright spot is you're back home. You're with us this morning, and I and I think you'll help a lot of people uh, this morning. Broken heart syndrome is is definitely a thing. So thank you for sharing your story with us, and I wish you uh, all the best. Well, you're welcome. Stay safe. Thank you for the interview.